Welcome back to another video in our useful website series. If you missed the other videos, I'll throw a link to the playlist in the description. In this video, I'll show you six websites in various categories that just might be useful for you. Let's get started. First up is Ico Convert, which can take any image on your computer and convert it into an icon to be used on a website or anywhere else that you need it. Here's how to use it. First, browse your computer for the PNG, JPEG, or BMP image that you want to convert no larger than 50 megabytes. For this example, I'll select the logo for this channel. Now select Upload. Here you can crop the image if you want to. Below that, you'll also have the option to select a style. You can select them individually, select all of them, or select none. I'll go with this one here. The next step is to select the format that you want. The options are PNG, ICO, and Favicon. I'll leave it on ICO. And when you're ready, select Convert ICO. When it's done, below that, you'll have the option to download your icons. And here's the icon I just downloaded. Get Link Info takes those shortened links from web pages to let you see the original URL and determines whether a website contains malicious software or is a phishing site using Google Safe Browsing. When you're on a website with a shortened link, for example, this site has a bit.ly link, copy it and then paste it on the Get Link Info site. Then do your search. You'll get a link information page that looks like this with the title and description, if there is any, the address of the URL hiding behind that shortened link, along with information letting you know if those links are safe. Get Link Info is now my go-to site for unmasking shortened links. Halfway through our list, with three to go, I want to point out a site we suggest for people to never use. Glassdoor is a well-known site to search for jobs, salaries, and where employees can leave anonymous company reviews about their employers. To make a long story short, Ars Technica and other sources are reporting that Glassdoor is now adding full names to profiles, some without the user's consent. In addition, Glassdoor is now requiring that users need to be verified by adding their real names and jobs to their profiles. While they can still remain anonymous while posting, a simple request from a government entity or a data leak could easily expose these users to retribution from their employers. So once again, we recommend that you never use this website. Back to the sites we do recommend. This will be a quick one for those of you looking for an alternative to Canva. Designer is an easy to use graphic design website that lets you create your own designs for your business, social media, and anything else. They have thousands of free templates to help you create posters, banners, social media posts, along with several other categories of templates. Designer also includes millions of royalty-free images and thousands of vector art, stickers, and backgrounds. Designer is free, but if you require more features, they do offer a pro version for $7.50 per month and a business plan for $19 per month. Scratch is a free visual programming language and online community for children. It was developed by the MIT Media Lab for kids ages eight and up. Scratch is often used to teach coding, computer science, and help with computational thinking. They have a lot of tutorials to help you or your child get started. Just select a tutorial, then just follow the directions along the right side of the page. Scratch is completely free and it's a great learning resource for children. What Should I Read Next is a book recommendation site that analyzes their database of real readers to give you suggestions on what to read next. It's simple to use. Enter the title of a book or an author. I'll enter in the title of a book by Cory Doctorow called Down and Out in the Magic Kingdom and I'll select it. Now it shows recommendations that are similar to the book I entered by various authors. So the next time you're having trouble finding a new book to read, check out What Should I Read Next? Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a website that you think would be beneficial for others to know about and use, let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, Subscribe and click the bell notification icon for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff.